Hi folks, we're very happy today. We just received this parcel from the USA. Surprise, it was a surprise. Florida. I can't do the accents yet. Florida. Shall we see what's in the box? I can't, I can't do it either. Of course you can't. Right, we've actually opened it, but um, Sharon's got a little note that was inside. What's it say, Sharon? It says, hi, Sharon and Martin. Sharon first, I like it. This is Jackie and Lee from Florida, USA. Jackie first, so Jackie wrote it there. Good girl, Jackie. We love watching you from over the pond. We are originally from UK, Cheshire, ah, they Essex. Are UK residents, ex-UK expat, Sharon. Yeah, we hope you enjoy a few things from the USA that I know you don't have in the UK. Ooh. Here we have biscuits. Oh, hello. In brackets, scones in the UK. Is that them? Right, there we go, folks. That is a Cheddar Bay biscuit mix. Our secret recipe just adds shredded cheddar, water, and butter. Well, we've got them three ingredients, so we're going to make these biscuits up. So they're basically scones. Well, they're not really, shall are they? Because... Um... That's what she's putting the brackets, and she should know oh, she's okay. living out there. Only I know that they have biscuits and gravy in America, but it's nothing like what we think it is. No. So that's that. Right, OK. So then, also, corn muffins. They eat with their dinner. Add egg and milk. Well, I thought they ate biscuits with their dinners. Well, that's biscuits there. So they eat corn muffins as well? Yeah. America's favourite, there Americans you go. Americans, you're greedy. <laughs> and what I will say, folks, just notice this, Sharon. Let me show you the box. On the back of the box, folks, they really put the nutritional information large. So you've got no worries seeing all that and all the ingredients and all that. Whereas we have to, we've got a little bit on the back where you have to sort of really study, but you can't see it. So yeah, one up there for the Americans, so oh, that's great, I like that. Uh, the seasoning you can use on meats, roast or in stews. Right, well this is everything bagel. Now I think we've got something like this, Sharon, haven't we? Where is it, where would it be? Oh yeah, look. Yeah. Everything bagel, and look. I, actually, I've got that on Amazon, I've not seen that yeah. in the shops here. Yeah, but that we know for a fact, because we've that used, nice. that's down to about a quarter, no, half in there now. But I've so. never thought of using it in stews, actually. That's really tasty, Sharon, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So yes, that's brilliant, we'll put that one back, that's our one. Oh yeah, roast potatoes. I bet that'd be really nice, oh, a yeah. roast potato. Well, I'm gonna try oh, this that. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? And, and then it says, Go please say hi to Lee, Jackie and Carol and Franny. So hi and thank you. And P.S. Enjoy Mickey and Minnie in the kitchen. I love it. That is a salt and pepper no, ceramic. It's like Minnie and kissing. Salt and pepper shake, as they call them in. That's a Disney one as well, so. I'm a bit nice. reluctant to take that I out know. of the box. It's too nice shoes. I don't want my grandchildren getting hold of it and dropping it. Yeah, that's the thing. We might have that as a display piece. I so might put it in my cabinet. Once again, I love that. Thank you very much, Jackie and Lee. And yeah, I really appreciate so that. So honour that. Come all the way from Florida. That weren't cheap to send here, folks. Right, so we're going to cook up these biscuits first of all. Here is the ingredients for the American biscuit mix. Three quarters of a cup of cold water. One half a cup of grated strong cheddar cheese. One pouch of cheddar bay biscuit mix. For the herb butter, one quarter of a cup of butter. One pouch of garlic herb blend. Right, so we're gonna follow these instructions on this box, Sharon, aren't we? Yeah. Right, what do we want first, baby? Water, cheese and biscuit mix all together. Right, so there's the water. That's three quarters of a cup there, yeah. folks. There's the biscuit mix. So just put that into a big glass bowl. So you've got your three quarters of a cup of water there, there and also half a cup of cheese there. That's the thing with the American shell. It's, it's all, all done in cups, isn't it? And I had to buy these because I was following a couple of American recipes and I didn't have the cups. Yeah, so there we go. We're just going to whack it all in. And then you're just going to literally mix it all together to form a dough. a dough, but we don't want to be mixing it too much apparently. It says do not over mix. Yep, so we're just going to mix this roughly folks, just till we get the water core incorporated. And just scrape around the side of the bowl as well with a fork. fork. And yeah, it just makes quite a, a rough dough, doesn't it? Mm. You, that's to say, you don't want to overwork it. I think that's about it then. Yeah, it? I'd yeah. say definitely that definitely looks okay Then we scoop dough, dough, dough immediately into eight to ten portions, about a quarter of a cup, and place two inches apart on a prepared baking sheet. Well, we haven't got that. We've got, we're going to be using our kasuri there. We'll get the parchment liner out. We'll get the parchment out. liner out. Hold on. And we're just going to preheat that first of all. So we'll leave that on for about five minutes, and then we'll come back and do it again. And with the liner, we're just going to spray some um, oil on the base of the liner. Let's get it all over that liner. That's it, isn't it? 
it's all over. Yeah, right, that's it. So just so the uh, mixture don't stick, we're just going to do five in this air fry because you've got to have them spread out a little bit, you see. So you ain't going to make balls or anything. You're just no. literally going to splodge it off the spoon. We'll have one, two, three, four, and one in the middle for five. Right, there we go. So we'll just wait for the um, cassoulet just to be on for a few more minutes. Right, so we've got our melted butter now, just to make our little dip, folks. No, we ain't melted it yet. <laughs> we're going to put that into a little bowl, a microwave proof bowl. And we're just going to melt that in the microwave for probably 50 seconds, something like that. Yes, it won't take long. So Sharon's going to do that. And with the magic of editing, Sharon, you are now bringing it back and it's melted. Yeah. Instantly. Right, so that's going to be for drizzling over the top, apparently, isn't it? Yeah. And all we've got to do is add this little packet of seasoning which come in the... Which is a garlic herb blend. Yeah, a garlic herb blend. So we, yeah, I suppose you could just put garlic powder in there, but we'll go with it. This looks like what it is. Oh, there we go. Let me just give that a bit of a stir up. And there we go. That's our garlic butter for pasting onto our biscuits when they're done. I nearly said scones. So did I. Right, I'm just going to turn the air fryer off for the minute, folks, because... Uh, that's got to be put into there, and that's got to be very careful now, Sharon. Mind you don't burn your hands. There we go. So there's our five scones in there. The scones, I've called them scones, look. There's our five biscuits in there. There we go. Hey? So we'll put that on. As I say, we're going to do it for 180 degrees for 12 minutes, 12 minutes now, and off she goes. To make the American style gravy, you'll need the following. Three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of plain white flour, two cups of milk and salt and pepper to taste. Right, so let's make the gravy, baby. And all we're gonna do is take our three tablespoons of butter, and we're just gonna heat it up gently uh, till it melts in our frying pan. All Sharon's gonna do now is literally just incorporate the flour, and this makes a roux. Normally, Sharon, when she makes a white made... sauce, which is basically what this is, Sharon, isn't it? I've never made a roux. You've in my never life. made a roux. No, but we don't I've never done add, this. We normally add butter. We don't normally add butter, but I think the butter will be a thing that could separate if we've done it your way, which yeah. is normally pouring the milk and the flour in the saucepan and bringing it together. Now that's all congealed now, so now you can start adding the milk at a time. And what you're trying to do is to bring all this together and this will be the basis of the white sauce. So we'll just cook this out. Right, so we're just gonna add, again, some salt and pepper to this. There we go. We just heard the biscuits ping, folks. Thickened up a treat, folks. Let's show you. it to pepper sauce. So there you go. There's a basic, what the Americans call a gravy shell. Now, this is just finished. I don't know what they're going to be like. We might have to put them on for longer. Let's have a look, folks. Oh, they look all right, shall we? Look at that. Yeah. Have they stuck? No, they've not stuck. Oh, look at that. I'd say they were perfect, Sharon. Well, that's amazed me, that is, because the first time we've made them, Sharon, and every one of them, look, oh, even the bottoms, was... nicely toasted on the bottom as well. Right. Get a plate to put them on, and I'll just put the other mixture in. Let's get it. What do you mean, the other mixture? The other bits. Oh, you're going to paste them, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, Where's, yeah. Where's your jug, Sharon? Oh, I need um, a plate to put these on, love. Right, bear with me. Hold on, Shell. It's all gone mad here, folks. We're just going to pull out a little plate because we've got that butter sauce on there, haven't we? So let's just put these on a plate there. Oh, look at them, look. They look lovely. Yeah, they do smell like... I don't know what they smell like, Shell. Is it a scone sort of smell? I don't know. I can smell cheese, actually, when right. I just... So that's now turned off. We're now going to... Um, Put some of this garlic butter, just brush it over. Oh, God, look at that. Oh, that looks succulent, Sharon. The way you're pasting that on. This does look good, actually. Hasn't it? Yeah. It's added a lovely glaze to it. See, I'd be quite happy. Just, just to have to, one of them? Yeah. Well, we will. I don't we'll, need the gravy. We'll, we'll put the gravy over a couple of them just to start off with, just to see how we go. But we'll pull one aside as well and just, we'll dry taste it, Sharon. Yeah. Yeah? So get that. But I, I love, oh, gar got I love garlic. I've got the waft of that garlic, Sharon. Right, we've got the small garlic left for the others. Yeah. Right, before you go any further then, Sharon, let's take a closer look at these. Mm. Right, 
Right, we dished it up, folks. This is American, come from Florida. Yeah. Biscuits and gravy, folks. Right, we have broke one in half there, shall we? Yeah, Let's just try one dry first of all. Oh, let's have a go. You go first, go on. It's gonna be dry, because don't forget, is it like a scone? No, it's not. Oh, no. I don't think it is. It's a bit cakey, it is dry. Very dry, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think you can eat them on your own. Yeah, but I'll be trying to just cut it in half like a scone and butter it. Mm. So we were wrong. It's not like a scone. Right. Let's drop a bit of this gravy on there and have a look at this. Right, drop that gravy on, Sharon. Go all over it. You, sp you smother it, Sharon. Oh, look. That's how I've seen it in America, Sharon. That is biscuits and gravy American style, Sharon. There you go. Right, go on in, in you go, get your spoon. I'll <laughs> let you go first. Get some of the gravy, you must get that gravy, shall. Scoop it the other way, that's it. Get, get loads of that gravy, get it on a spoon for, ah, that's it. So right, do you want to hold it up? No, I just don't want to burn my mouth. Go on, give it a little blow then, a little blow. Go on, now don't forget, this is a, a standard gravy. And that's a breakfast staple for many are American. Now have it with, with sausage patties as well, shall. So it's a bit savoury, but we haven't got no... I'm trying that sauce. Oh, go on, that's it, yeah, go on. Have a little go. Do you know what, I thought that tastes of nothing, but you put a lot of pepper in there, so it's... I did put a bit of pepper in there, shall. What do you it's think? It's not bad. It's not bad, can I have a go? I don't know if I'd want it with sausages and that, though. Well, I might do, shall. Can I have a go, baby? Of course you can. You come and hold the camera. I'll just bring this round with me while I hold the camera. Right. I've never had this before. This is totally new to me. I don't know what to expect, Sharon, to be honest with you. I've got a big bit there, and I'm also gonna scoop up, look, Sharon. I'm gonna scoop up a lot of that gravy, look. That's what we're looking at. I can smell a bit of cheese, Sharon, I can smell it. Oh yeah, it's well cooked. The, the, the actual batter, or call it a batter, shell, it's fully cooked all the way through. I'm going in full metal jacket. Go for it, go on. I've got everything on there, and it's a big one and all, Sharon. I like it. It's different, isn't it? I, I, I can't compare it to anything. No. It's not knock your socks off fan dabby dozy. It is got a, the cheese, I can taste the cheese in the actual biscuit itself. But what's confusing me is the word biscuit, Sharon. Mm. And gravy. I think my mind's saying this isn't biscuit or gravy. No. But it's something, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know if it's sweet or savoury. I don't really know. It's obviously savoury, isn't it? But. I don't know. I can picture it. Can you picture a sausage with it and with bacon? A, yes, I can. Can you? Because it's a strong flavour. It's the sort of thing where it's filling, but I don't think you'd have it on its own, maybe. I don't know whether the Americans do or not, but it makes you want to go back for more. But I don't know whether it's a dessert, a cake, no, a biscuit. Because it's, it's still a bit sweet, isn't it, the biscuit? They're not horrible by a long no, no, shot. No, 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 no. I think what it is, is that it's thrown me, Sharon. Yeah. It's tasty. It is very tasty. It's filling. But it's thrown me. I don't you know, quite know what to make I'm of it. I'm standing here looking at them. Oh, yeah. Them there. Yeah. And I'm thinking of them on top of a stew. Like a dumpling. Yeah. It is semi-dumpling. It's in between a dumpling, mm. a cake, it definitely is not what we would call a biscuit. No, no. But yeah, I do like it. I do see why they like cheese scones. It's I can see that. It's the sort of thing, if I was in America for breakfast, I would have it. I would have the biscuits and the sausage with it, and I would mm. probably enjoy it, as opposed to going for a full do fry. Do you know what, though? Well. If I was making cheese scones now, yeah. I'd actually put garlic butter on the top, because mm. that takes it yeah. to another level. Well, thank you very much for sending that yeah. to us. That was absolutely uh, something we've never tried before. I've always wondered about American uh, biscuits and gravy. Mm. Never tasted it. This is obviously, <coughs> oh, pardon me, Sharon, a version. That's a sign you like the food, isn't it, when you burp? Yeah, some of course countries. it is. Or some people say it's rude, Sharon. 
it's just come out naturally. Anyway, give them a go, folks. Have a look at the old uh, biscuit and gravy. Mm. The recipe's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Um, I'm sure you may be able to find biscuit uh, uh, powder. Biscuit powder, is that a thing? How much of what the ingredients was in that box? Well, that's, that's the secret, Sharon. Mm, that's the secret. That good? Yeah. See, that look, it is like a dumpling. And the time we, which we've cooked them in is actually perfect. They're absolutely perfect. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that one, folks. It's a little bit different, this yeah. one. It's something we haven't tried before. Hopefully, we brought that to you. And it cooked a treat at 12 minutes on 180 degrees C in the air fryer. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to have a little backlog of our other videos. And also check out... Come back and join us on Sunday and see what we've been up to. There's yeah. a lot of dececorating going on at the you moment. You won't see so none of that. Been out you won't see none much. of that. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. See Let's you in the next see video. see the finished item. Well, maybe, Shout. It looked like a premium in room. You know what you like. They want to see it. See you in the next video. And until then, bye, bye. for now. Have a biscuit with a cup of tea. I'll get my franking.